The 2018 legislative session has adjourned, sine die, and we have accomplished many of our goals under the Gold Dome this year. All in all, we pass over 100 pieces of legislation to benefit the people of Georgia. And I can proudly say that our work here will make a positive impact on citizens across the state. Of the many pieces of legislation passed throughout the session, here are some of the highlights. Governor Dill signed the largest tax cut in Georgia's history into law. This income tax reduction will help both individuals and companies and put more direct money back into the pockets of the taxpayers. The bill decreases the income tax rate and will double the standard deductions just in time for tax season. In our final week, we passed the general budget for the 2019 fiscal year in the form of House Bill 684. Next year's budget totals more than $26 billion. With the state's population now at 10.4 million people, the increase is much needed. Our healthy and thriving economy has made Georgia the number one state in America to do business in the fifth consecutive year. This session has also been very beneficial for state veterans, servicemen and women, public servants. In our final week alone, we passed bills to reduce barriers for individuals seeking to become firefighters, create the Office of Public Safety Officer Support to aid public servants who have dealt with trauma and in a line of duty and eliminated specific taxes and penalties for our veterans. In addition to all this, we passed the first update to Georgia's adoption laws in nearly 30 years and increased access and affordability to higher education by updating requirements to the Hope and Zell Miller Scholarship Funds. In addition to creating a new need-based scholarship program for students in below average income households. I wish I could share more of our achievements this, this year as it has been quite a session at the Capitol under the Gold Dome. Thank you for your support over the years, and I look forward to serving our community in the future. While we may be only in session for a few months in the year, I am your senator year-round, and my lines of communication remain open to help you. If I can ever assist you in any way, please give me a call.